Hey everybody, Timmy Flyers guy here. I wanted to do this video discussing the uh, main characters of why the Flyers have been struggling earlier this season. And I have a lot to talk about. I got a lot that I need to get off my chest about what's been going on. And I want to do this video to explain the factors and why the Flyers are having uh, early struggles in this season. And the reason for that, I have to go into reason number reason number one, which would be the main the main reason the Flyers have not been doing well so far. The absence of Nick Steeler due to injury. Yeah. The absence of Nick Steeler due to injury is has been a big factor for the Philadelphia Flyers. Without his shot blocking prowess, the Flyers seem to look lost out there. Uh, a lot of guys don't seem to block shots that much. I mean, Eric Johnson does block some shots, but not many, not as good as Nick Sealer. So the fact that Nick Sealer is not in the lineup to block shots like he does, it's kind of a factor on why the Flyers lost to Vancouver on Saturday. And why they're, they're why they're having so many why they're having struggles early in the season. Another factor would have to be this for the four game West Coast road trip they recently had. And a lot of tough teams to play. The Flyers record wasn't bad on that road trip. They did have uh, a loss to the Kraken. Well, they, did have, they did get a win against Vancouver. They lost to Calgary. They got an overtime loss. They had a early shot. They got a point. Then they faced off against Seattle. And they were absolutely and by absolutely decimated in that game. Although they did try to come back, it just wasn't enough for them. And they fell to the Kraken. Another factor. We have to be goaltender. I mean, for Dotov, he's been struggling a lot this season. I feel like he's been struggling a lot this season. And most of his losses, for Dotov was in goal. The game against Calgary and the game against Seattle. Yes, Sam Anderson did suffer a loss against Vancouver. But even though he suffered a loss, he still made some great saves when he had to in that game. Dotov has been struggling as well. And it seems that the Phantoms have been having some similar, similar struggles as well. The Phantoms only have one win. The Flyers only have one win. And the only team that's really going on a tear is the Reading Royals, who have won three games already this season. Which kind of worries, worries a lot of people, but... And that's another factor. Another factor would have to... It has to be. I think that's all the factors I, I can really think of as these two. And it seems to be affecting the organization, the Los Angeles Flyers, and the Lehigh Valley Phantoms. In a way, it's been affecting this team a lot. And should I worry? No, I shouldn't worry because it is early in the season. And nobody should worry right now. Because it's still pretty early to, ter to determine what this team is capable of. They, on the radio station, during the pregame, when they lost to Vancouver on 975, they said it is a little too early to start worrying because they don't truly really know what kind of team this fire scheme is yet. And you can't really determine that early in the season. You gotta see what happens going forward. And I have to say that I'm not gonna worry about this. And nobody should, nobody, no flyer fan should, should have to worry about this. It's, this is something that the Flyers are going through. They're going through struggles. They got two rookies on this team who are entirely new to this team. They're good, but they're new to this team. And they have not quite learned the structure of this hockey team yet. I know Mishav has gotten it, has gotten it slightly, 
Lushenko still needs some work getting the, uh, getting the system. Um, so we shouldn't worry about this. You know what? I'm not gonna worry about this. Because I am a fire fan, and no matter what happens, I'm not gonna sit here and worry about it. I'm not gonna sit here and get mad and, and say something, say something on, on Twitter, and I can't take back. I'm not gonna do that, because I'm not gonna give up on this team. I'm not a coward. I'm not gonna walk away like a coward with his tail between his legs. It's not how I operate anymore. I'm tired of this. I'm not running away anymore. I need to stand up and be a man. We all need to do that. Not just a man. Not just a man, but uh, but a grown-up as well, as an adult. Whether it be a man or a woman. And I'm just saying, fire, fire fans, we need to stay calm. We need to stay patient. Technically, we are still in a rebuild. And it's still going to take some time for this team to really, to really sizzle. And it's going to take some time. But I'm sure we have a good coach. We can work this out. He can help these guys get better. Um, the power play actually looks pretty decent, except for the game on Saturday when the Flyers failed to catch in on any of their power plays. But I'm just saying we shouldn't give up on this hockey team. It's too early to really worry about this team. If this goes on into December or the fall in the second half, then maybe it's time that we worry, but right now, no, not worry, not worry too much, but, you know, at least be concerned about this hockey team. In my heart, I still believe that, that this team can turn it around. I really do. I, I, it, I believe it, because this team has been so through, has been through so much. We know what they're capable of, and we know what they can do. I'm not going to worry about it. I predict that this team is going to go on a tear in the next few games. It's going to start tomorrow night when they face off against the Washington Capitals. It's not going to be easy, but I'm, I'm hoping, I'm predicting the Flyers will go on a tear at some time. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, I apologize. But if I'm right, if I'm right, then woohoo. This team is, uh, I, I think this team is on its way to turn things around this Tuesday. And that's all I gotta say about that.